What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard back at it again with another video and today we are talking about what would be the best PCT aka post cycle therapy for SARMs and I know I have made a video about this before but that was one of my first videos and I was I was having a different vision back then as uh, I have right now so back then I was talking about taking a rimestane which is a an uh, estrogen blocker you should usually take on cycle uh, take it as PCT which would usually could work if you would just have been taking like Osterine or something like that for a very short period of time just to crush a little bit of the estrogen but these days and especially Especially if you want to stack SARMs, uh, cycle multiple together, that's stacking of course, uh, or more suppressive ones, S23, RAT 140 and so on. Um, these days I just really go for the typical hardcore steroid post psychotherapy which is Nolvadex and Clomiphene, aka Nolva and Clomid. Um, depends if you got Gyno on cycle, I should definitely suggest Raloxifen. It really works. I'm currently uh, running Raloxifen right now because on my last S23 experiment, I got a gyno flare on my left nipple. It was all good during PCT, but after the PCT, it got back. So I knew it was gyno and it was going to last. So I definitely need to do something about it. I had two options, which was Raloxifen and Letrozole, but I wanted to wait with Letrozole because that shit makes you feel very terrible. So Raloxifen, I'm doing that 60 milligrams a day right now for 10 days and then taper down to 30 milligrams until the gyno was gone. Um, but anyway, that's an option. You could choose Raloxifen or Nolvadex depending on gyno. But that's my opinion. That's what I would do if you don't really have gyno or a little bit. Nolvadex would do the trick. Nolva is great for gyno as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, these days I would just strictly go for Nolvadex and Clomid. And somehow Clomid, you know, that shit makes me feel really great uh, post-cycle. Uh, I keep my strength, my energy, all the stuff. Depending on ball size, you could take HCG alongside I'm not really a big fan of injecting if I don't have to, but HCG is great. Your balls will drop really fast. Um, so you could add that to the Nolvadex or Raloxifen and Clomid. So yeah, I said a Remistain as a PCT. Don't do that shit. That was just stupid for me to say. I got the video up there. I will keep it up there for you guys to watch because this was definitely some of the first information I got uh, experimenting with SARMs and AIs and SARMs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that was it. I don't know if you stack SARMs, if you use suppressive, if you use a whole lot of suppressive SARMs or whatever, uh, definitely do a proper Nolvadex Clomiphene cycle. Or at least one of the two. I would go for both pathways, Nolvadex and Clomiphene, but that's just me. But if you want to be sure and recover fully, always do blood work after, and the Nolva and Clomid would do the trick. All right, that was it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching again. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram, which is Whiteboy from the Yard. Don't forget to drop a like and drop a question or anything in the comment section. I will make sure I will try to read all of them and respond to all of them. Again, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I am out. We turn your brain to candle